Good morning, everybody. It is time for Dow of the Day. I just got my Spanish done, got my meditation, and I don't think I journaled today, which is an oddball thing, but I didn't. Um, but that's okay. We're here doing Dow of the Day. <laughs> So I hope everybody's doing well this morning and everybody is feeling good. I am here asking you to join me and uh, pick a number between 1 and 81. We'll go from there. Everything like you have to trust. You just have to trust in the universe. Just come on up. Give me a number between 1 and 81 and then we will we'll go from there. It's a it's an adventure in the Tao. The Tao Te Ching is a ancient text written about 600 uh, BC, around the same time the Old Testament was written, and or they they claim the Old Testament was written, you know, like whatever. <laughs> and oh, look, we do have a guest. Good morning. Good morning, love. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm I'm doing well, and um, I know I've pronounced your name right before. I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Katina, Kotina, Kotina. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. I, I I I for some reason I just always kind of like I'm like ugh. Like I think the first time that I pronounced it, I just pronounced it the way it's spelled because yeah. why, why yeah. not? <laughs> and, right. and then every time after, I've been like, oh, good. I'm struggling. Um, Kotina. What's that? Tina is fine. Okay, but yeah, like names are names are important because <laughs> we're carrying them. You know, we yeah. carry them every day. Mm-hmm. Cool, Tina. It is good to have you back. It's nice to see you. Good to be here. Nice. Good to be here. So, uh, what's calling for you today? What number do you have within your heart? Fifty. Fifty. Mm-hmm. As you take a deep breath and settle in. The master gives himself up to whatever the moment brings. He knows that he is going to die. And and has nothing left to, and he has nothing left to hold on to. There's a misspelling in the uh, in the text, so I had to. I was like, "What is he trying to say?" And, and really, it's just an added R. Uh, and he has nothing left to hold on to. No illusions in his mind. No resistances in his body. He doesn't think about his actions. They flow from the core of his being. He holds nothing back from life. Therefore, he is ready for death as a man is ready for sleep after a good day's work. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, some initial i'm just writing notes so that i can remember how to talk about this later when i can write up a little description of what's going on today um so yeah so so what are your initial thoughts here well um listening to that i would think that person is you know just present like yeah. they're but they're flowing with the universe and no resistance they're just you know not that they're just there but they're aware of who they are and they know that the core of them has to be for the greater good. That's what I think. Yeah. I, I, I agree. You know, like I can point to a point, I can point to a moment yesterday where I did not give myself up to what the moment brought. Is there anything that's going on in your life right now where you're, where you're just kind of not allowing the moment to be the yeah. moment? Yeah. Um, I have sickness with my father going mm. on. Everything is just, chaotic and i'm like okay i don't want to be lost but i feel like i just want to just you know retreat from it but i can't mm-hmm. run from it so it's yeah i didn't give it up i was all over the place yesterday and today. okay yeah. yeah yeah and today wow it's early where are you at <laughs> <laughs> i'm in mississippi but he has a um an appointment that he's getting ready for and he's being resistant so i'm like ah. yeah it's something so this is this is good this is good this is yeah. a good one, and I'm and I'm sorry that we have to actually kind of cover death as we move through this, but but it will get covered. But it's not it's not a bad thing. It's it's about it's about giving up to this moment. So, right. um, so and I'm here. So we're gonna do this together. So so as we start, we, we we get into this number fifty, and it says the master gives himself up to whatever the moment brings. Mm-hmm. Now, how can like you know like and the question is how do you how do you kind of foresee an ability or how do you how do you foresee that maybe you can give yourself and your mm-hmm. ideas up 
today as you're as you're facing this? I mean, I think you just have to you have to trust that it's going to work out. Whether we think it was a negative thing or a positive, it it has to work out, right? Right. right. And like giving yourself up is giving up all of the labels of this is good, this is bad, this is yeah. what I think it is. Yeah, it is. It just like is. Most people get caught up in, you know, either they want to be right or this is right to them, but it's not right to everybody else. And I'm just like, just if you want your peace as much as you want to argue, just let it go. And for That's the longest right. For the longest time, I had a hard time doing, like, go with the flow. I was like, what was that? But now, at age 40, I know what that is. Nice. You can't resist everything. It's just some things are going to happen, and you have to, you got to deal, you know? Yeah. 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 You know, I put out a, I put out a, I put out an email today. It's going out. Maybe it's gone out already. I don't know. Um, Because I schedule those things. Um, But. It went out and it was all about this idea that if you, it takes less energy to believe in everything yeah. than it takes to not believe in one thing. Yeah. You know, as soon as you, you soon as you fight something, as soon as you try to change something, mm -hmm. it, it, it just starts to take your energy. But if you just say, you know, like, like, and I, in, in the email, I use the flat world sort of thing. Is the world flat or round? And I yeah. said, yes. And I'm not bothered. <laughs> like get on with it like yeah. let's get beyond it because like what a silly waste of my energy right right you have to choose your battles and that's some right. of them are not worth fighting some are not that's right that's and in my life a flat yeah. world is not worth my argument like i give a fuck <laughs> right <laughs> right right it's just like uh with my dad this morning i guess he wanted some resistance or what and i'm just like look this is the fact Damn right. What are you playing? What, which way are you playing this? Because I'm okay. not, I'm not putting my energy into it. It takes too much. You That's get right. headaches and and heartaches. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Either yep. it's yes or no, no gray. So that's, that's why, right. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Good on you. <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> so, uh, and and this is the master knows that he is going to die, and he has nothing left to hold on to. Yeah. You know, and I think that 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 may be something that your father is, you know, he he wants to hold on. I, I don't I mean, we are just we don't know. We it's don't like, know. We don't know. It's like either you want to give up or you want to let go. And we have to deal with the aftermath. And I think if a person is resistant to what's going on around them, it's because you haven't come to terms with this is either going to happen or it's not. There's something right. unsettled in you. That unknowing, unknowing, right. not knowing is hard. I mean, you know, you and I have a little bit more grasp on it because yeah. we're, because, you know, we're in our forties. And so like, yeah. we are, you know, we're, we're of a younger generation and even yeah. younger people from us, people in their twenties, like they, they might be able to embrace this even more than we can, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, because the unknown is coming in and, and our parents, they, yeah. they their, their entire lives were predicated on knowing. Mm hmm knowing some shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they, they really love it. Man, it's it's just, I don't know, with the generation, you know, gap, you have one way of thinking, you have a other. And I'm like, I'm going to keep my peace, so I'm not going to engage in this. And I had somebody tell me, oh, you're cold. I'm not cold. No. It's just, I value me and, you know, what's going on with me. I value you too, but you have to fight for yourself sometimes. And That's I'm right. And that doesn't mean I'm I'm not fighting for you. By fighting for me, you yeah. have an advocate. But exactly. if you want to manipulate my ass, you gotta get right. stepped back. <laughs> right. Like like now you're not gonna be able to manipulate me because I'm I'm on my game. Right. My go you know, you know where to raise the wall and to lower it. Now That's there's right. yeah, now it's there's that structure and I'm just like, Yeah, we're not doing this today. That's you right. And you, you know, don't. by like what you're doing is you're respecting him. It's like, yeah. look, you want you want to play a game? Great. I'm gonna let you go ahead and play your game. Yeah. You ain't playing it with me. Right. Because ultimately, right? like I have no interest lesson. in your game. Yeah. Yeah. This is like ultimately you are gonna benefit or you know from this situation, not right. me. That's You're right. gonna go through this, not me. So make up your mind.
Yeah. So the master uh, has no illusion in his mind, no resistance in his body. And that's like you, like, look, I'm not, I'm not going to let you manipulate me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fall to the illusion that right. I'm doing you any good by, by, by doing what you think you want me to do. Yeah. And yeah. I don't have any resistance in telling you, Hey, you want to do it that way? Play your game, son. I'm going to go get a coffee. <laughs> right. Right. It's like some people, um, they thrive off of the emotional response that they give to them. And I'm just like, I'm not allowing people to get in there like that because I know the effect it does for me. And I'm like, if it's hurting me, I'm cutting you off. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're going to hit this Absolutely. thing. We're going to nip it in the bud. You don't get at That's right. Thing. So, yeah. I'm not, yeah, I'm not here. Like, I'm not here for conflict. I'm not nope. here to get hurt. I'm here to help you. And you have to step up if you want help because you got to receive it. You got to do all the work. I'm here. I'm here just like as a facilitator. Yep. That's it. Yep. And, you know, I mean, you know, I think you, you know how long, what it takes to get to that point. Yeah. And once you, you know, remove the emotional part of it and you are in, like, it's like your Zen place, you're here. And then somebody yeah. else comes with, I like, nope, nope, mm -mm. <laughs> yes <or> no. <laughs> nope, yes or no, you, nope. You just step back, <laughs> right? My daughter tried that this morning, and I'm just like, you know what? I can't push my will onto her because this is her life, and if there's a, a consequence, negative or positive, it's gonna hit her before it hits me. So I'm yeah. like, um, okay, this is your decision. You, ha in order for somebody to learn they have to go through with that thing because they're going to keep resisting you until they do. Yes. Yes. And, and, and it's not, it's not, it's not, you know, like it's not, that's not tough love, right? That's nope. love that looks that's tough love. sometimes, you yeah. know, <laughs> like, like, yeah. but that's, that's, that's different from just like, let someone fall. Yeah. Right. It's very different. And I hear you. And, and, and I just wanted to say that because not everybody knows what you're yeah. talking about. You know, some yeah. people are just like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get my kid arrested because he doesn't no. learn. No, 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 no. no baby, like, no. yeah, that's, it's a, it's a, it's love that looks tough, not yeah. tough love. It's right. all about what comes first. Right. It's, it's totally different. It's not like, um, go make those mistakes and ruin your life. No, no. no. It's like, you, you know, you have access to this here. Yes. But you and it's always going to be. That. Yeah. It's always, I'm going to be your support. I'm going to be your foundation. I'm not going to stop you from living, but there is a structure. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I like, I, this is always here, but you know, like when, when you don't, when, when you're not taking it seriously, this is, that's not, that's not yeah. what this is. Yeah. Yeah. And this, this is, I'm sorry. I'm kind of no, going please. over. Um, this is what I do with my kids. Um, they come, I have it where the communication is open. So yeah. they can come and tell me how they feel about me and other things. And then when I notice that they really want to experience, now I'm mama, right? Mm -hmm. so I'm going to make sure you experience this within the walls of safety. But at the same time, you get this experience because if I hit you off at the pass, every time you do it, when you do experience it, it's going to be devastating for you. Yes. So yeah. I refuse to just let you hang out there. And they know that. Yeah. Like, okay. Now this is the background. I'm here. I am here if you need me, even if it is me. Mm -hmm. But you have that choice to like. If this is something that you need to learn, learn that. Just know that I have you, but don't go past. You know, it's not like here's the wall and hit the brick wall. It, it's it's more of here's a door in the wall. Right. You right. can take this door, but mm -hmm. behind this door is this. If I tell you that they're naturally going to go the other way. Right. Right. So I'm like, okay, this is the thing you're trying to do. Go ahead and do that. But know that, okay, this consequence follows it. And then when they do it, they don't hear it. My daughter came back to me and she said, well, mama, you was right. I'm like, I don't want to hear. I was right. I want to know. Did you learn? Damn right. I did you learn? Right. Yeah. Right. Did you I learn? That, like, not, the whole point, the whole yeah. point of this the was that point. you know you better. Yeah. You love yeah. you better. That's right. it. I told her, I'm like, I don't want to be right. There's this heartbreaking situations. I don't want to be right. I want right. to know you can learn because I don't want your heart broken. But That's I can't right. control whether you put yourself in that situation to get it broken. That's I right. can control how I respond to it. So that's the way I live. Go <laughs> on. This is beautiful. Yeah.
Yeah, so that 50 came in handy today. I like that. Sure did. Hey, see, yeah, so I'm going to just wrap this one up. And it says, uh, he doesn't think about his actions. They flow from the core of his being. You know, like that, that the conversation you have with your kids, that's flowing from you because of love. It's not because yeah. you read it somewhere. Right, right. Totally different. It's like this he holds is nothing. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. You know it. It's in you. It's truth. He holds yeah. nothing back for life from life. Therefore, he is ready for death without fear. Mm -hmm. As a man is ready for sleep after a good day's work. Mm -hmm. I you know, that's, a, that's a great moment, you know, when you've worked so hard and then you yeah. lay in bed and you're like, I am ready for this. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm going to be honest, and I, I know a lot of people don't like to say it because they're like, oh, it's taboo, or you might speak it. I'm not speaking death upon myself, but I do mm -mm. know if that time was to come, I'm not running from it. Damn you know? right. Because it's coming. <laughs> It's coming. I'm just not running from it. So that That's means right. a, a place of preparedness. Thank you, Martin. Oh, Cotina, it is always nice to have you on. Thank you. Oh, so nice. What a good start to the Dow of the day. Anybody else out there got a number between 1 and 81? Anybody have any, uh, any, uh, 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 thoughts for Cotina? Any, 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 anything? Um, I really love uh having her on she's uh she's such a light and i know uh, we don't talk half as much as i'd like um okay so uh here we are we are on Tao of the day the Tao is an ancient text written around 600 bc once again and uh it has 81 verses so i invite you to come up and pick a number between 1 and 81 and we will read your Tao for the day and as quotina mentioned it is helpful it is surely helpful. And yeah, anybody? I'm not going to beg. I'm just going to pick a number myself. Um, I'm going to pick 28. <clears throat> oh, this is, this is a lot of what I've been thinking about recently. You know, the male and the female, the yin and the yang and the structure and the space. Know the male, yet keep to the female receive the world in your arms if you receive the world the Tao will never leave you and you will be like a little child know the white yet keep to the black be a pattern for the world if you are a pattern for the world the Tao will be strong inside you and there will be nothing you can't do know the personal yet keep to the impersonal and i think that's what Quotina was talking about. Know the personal, know the thing that you're talking to, yet keep to the impersonal. Accept the world as it is. If you accept the world, the Tao will be luminous inside you, and you will return to your primal self. The world is formed from the void, like utensils from a block of wood. The master knows the utensils, sure, yet keeps to the block. Thus, she can use all things. <clears throat> So this is really interesting, right? Like this male and female, and I've been talking about this. So if you've been following me and if you've been uh, kind of following the Tao as I've been exploring it here, and I've been exploring the Tao for many, many years. And so uh, this, isn't, this isn't new, but there is some new understandings of what, uh, the, what the whole of male and female really mean. And if you have, uh, you know, like in here in the Tao, we talk about the Tao as being the great mother. So that is the great female and the universe, right? There's that God, there's that, the, you have to have a boundary of something because if there is no boundary, there is no substance, right? Like there's nothing there. Um, boundaries create the space for the substance, right? Create like a house is just encapsulating, just giving you a boundary and a house as it's related to here in the Tao. And, and I talk about it is the male is the structure. So the structure, the boundary is the male because the female is always present. The female is the yielding. Um, the fact that you can build a house at all means that there is a feminine or yin energy there because the Tao exists, right? So uh, without the border of the, uh, without, without, if there was a universe without a border, 
if it didn't have a limit, then it couldn't hold anything. But once you create a limit, now you have space, right? Now it can hold something. It just doesn't get lost in space. It is, it is, this is the male versus the female, right? Like know the male, know that there is a border, but recognize that that border is holding the female that border is holding that border is is penetrating that which is all things and and you know like i use the word penetrate as uh, very specifically right like i use that word as a way of saying hey the male penetrates the female right like and and the female is yielding to the male and so the male the <clears throat> the edge of the universe on the outside of the universe is all female right only female until there is another border until there is another structure the structure is male yet the space that we use the identity is female so know the male yet keep to the female receive the world in your arms see like this is the saying receive the world in your arms right to receive is female right like so know the male which is the world yet keep to the female which is the receptivity receive the world the male in your arms receive that masculine in your arms and that is a feminine act right like to receive is feminine to give to create structure to do all of those things is is the masculine but to receive is the feminine and so know the male yet keep to the female receive the world in your arms um if you receive the world the Tao will never leave you so right like now you are when you can when you can embrace that feminine energy when you can receive the world the Tao will never leave you and you will be like a little child you'll be like a little child like a little child is is protected a little child is free a little child plays and i know i know there's a lot of conversation around that right now and um and so there's there's so much in the in, in the world that we need to receive so that we can be given everything right a child is given things and we can do that we can be here and receive from the world and be like a little child know the white yet keep to the black be a pattern in the world <clears throat> so the white is the is the figure on the ground right this isn't necessarily like racial or anything like that it is about patterning and it's about like you, you you when you you know i know there are a lot of times where we we look at things and we say okay well it's one thing on top of another it's white and black and if you have a pattern it's about seeing that pattern inside of it know the white yet keep to the black the black is the void right the white is the stars on that black background on the black void um so, and that's, that's once again, talking about the male, like this is the structure, the white creates the structure on top of the black void. The white is that which is, that which is uh, on top of, like, like if it's like, okay, know the line, yet keep to the paper, right? Yes, the line is there, but the paper is the potential the white is the thing on top of the black but the black is the potential the the whole space be a pattern for the world as it, like how are you a pattern in the world today i know for me like i'm a pattern in the world as uh as i kind of create structure on top of like the wholeness right i try and present all of my ideas on top of that which is infinite Right. There's an infinite amount of information and grasping for that information, grasping for the black, grasping for the whole of everything is without structure is foolish because like you need a structure in order f for it to even manifest. Right. Like so all of that, like without structure, everything just falls into nothingness right like into darkness and that is where it's like know the white yet keep to that nothingness always return to that nothingness and be a pattern in the world that can change <clears throat> so if you are a pattern in the world the Tao will be strong inside you and there will be nothing you can't do 
And that's a big, that's a big deal. Like being a pattern, like understand that you are overlaying yourself onto the grandness. Like just the fact that we have bodies means that we hold masculine energy, right? And so understanding that what we contribute to the world is structure on top of the unstructurable feminine receptive energy. And when we look at uh, the Tao, the Tao is always looking, is always telling us, hey, there's more, there's more. And while it's telling us there's more, we're always finding less, right? There's less. And, and that less is so much more. And if it, that can get really confusing because we want the structure. We have, we have been raised in a society that has asked us <clears throat> to embrace the structure. We have been raised in a society that's, you know, asked us to embrace the system, asked us to embrace all that is around us. And so we get into this place of being, you know, like we want to be a pattern. We want to be able to kind of embrace that nothingness through the structures that we've created. So once again, um, this whole concept revolves around this idea that there is an edge to the universe. If there wasn't an edge to the universe, the universe wouldn't be feasible, right? So, so this is the universe, and I talked about the multiverse uh, the other day, but, but this is the universe. This is the one sort of perceptible. It wouldn't be perceivable, right? If, if, if there was no edge of the universe, we couldn't perceive it because it would all be feminine. It would all be receiving and it would all just kind of get swallowed up similar to like a black hole, right? It would just get lost in its, its receptivity. I hope that makes sense. Now, <clears throat> moving. Oh, I got two more verses. Julie, it's been so long since we've chatted here on the Tao of the Day. I'm glad you're coming up. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's afternoon for you. What is it, like two in the afternoon? Yeah, I did a night shift last night. So in my oh, brain. In, it's in my still brain, morning. Uh, it's morning, yeah. yeah you get about you get about three hours of sun for you, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I better get out there and get some uh, vit, vit D, I think. Get yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. I want you to stay healthy. You got a bike ride coming up. I have. I've got to definitely prepare myself for that. Definitely. Yeah. Are you but riding gotta... your bike these days? Uh, yes, it's had a slow puncture though, so uh, it's uh. off to the uh, bike. It's off to the bike doctors. So there's a there there are great like when I when I used to ride I there are these uh these liners that you can put in your tires so they don't get flats there's these like Kevlar it's the, like liners well, let's have a look at that yeah they've introduced me to a foam actually it's the foam that you can pop in so if you get oh. foam, it's it's That's like green slime it's weird <laughs> oh and the, yeah so it's so instead of air you have the foam yeah yeah that's nice that's nice so like anything to that. keep you like you don't want you don't want to be changing tires out there on the road not really i mean i'd have the time to do it but yeah I just of course. Wanna... you'd meet lots of people doing it but it's a it's yeah. a it's a it's a it's it it's no fun it's no fun like i remember I it wasn't fun for me in my 30s <laughs> all I, I thought i could do is use it as a as a a conversation starter that's right that's right yeah. uh so you got a number for me today I have number eight today. Eight. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's look at number eight. Let's see. All right. So the supreme good is like water, which nourishes all things without trying to. It is content with the low places that people disdain. Thus, it is like the Tao. In dwelling, live close to the ground. In thinking, keep to the simple. In conflict, be fair and generous. In governing, don't try to control. In work, do what you enjoy. In family life, be completely present. When you are content with simply being yourself, don't compare or compete. Everybody will respect you. We've read this before, haven't we? No. No. I no, thought I mean it was you. I'm reading through this going, yes, I think we have, but no, maybe not. There. So, that, all right. Well, like, what, initial thoughts? That is kind of good, isn't it? Yeah. That's like simplicity. And I love that. 
I yeah. love simplicity. I think you can really overthink things. And sometimes I find myself thinking, do I think enough about stuff? That's yeah. what I find. Do I actually think enough about stuff? Am I so simplistic that I become kind of a neutral, you know? Well, that is, you know, like that. Yes. And I you, think that's you understand the goal. What I'm saying. You understand Let's... what I'm saying, don't you, when I say that? Yeah. Yeah. I totally understand what you're saying. And I think that... <clears throat> There is a point where neutrality is arrived at. Yeah. And neutrality is such a good way of looking at your thinking. Like, because when you can think from a spot of neutrality, you can see more sides and you don't get, you don't get caught up in the emotion. And that is what we talked about during my workshop and stuff, right? Like that, yeah. that concept of like, look, you, when you think about things, cause like, there, there's, there's this weird bell curve, right? You think about things a lot and then you get all of these opinions of shit. And then as you continue to think, you realize that you don't know. Yeah. And that, yeah. that's where the bell curve happens, right? That's the drop off. Then all of a sudden everything drops off and you realize that you don't know, no matter how much you think you cannot know. Because yes. every time you think, you are only thinking from your own perspective. And that's the upturn of the bell curve, right? You start going up as you start to identify with your thoughts. But once you recognize you don't know, you stop identifying with them and then you allow them to come. And that's deep thinking. I that's think. cool. That's cool. That's really that's, that's good. My, that's that's you know that's that's totally my take on it, and I'm not a scholar of any kind, um, which I think is why I can have that thought. <laughs> no, I think I think that's really good. I think that um, I really enjoy um, your time mm. because of the way that you think about things. I like the the, the way that you. Um, you've got a lot of masculine structure in how you think about things. It's really good. And at the same time, you're very free thinking as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. It's, it's a, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, you are bloody pretty awesome. Damn right you are. <laughs> okay. So let's, let's, let's start going through this. So, uh, so it's just not just like, like, you know, we can get too far. Um, so the supreme good <laughs> is like water, which nourishes all things without trying to. And that is, <clears throat> you know, that's going to bring us back to the bottom where uh, it says, uh, when you are content to simply be yourself, you don't compare or compete and everyone will respect you, right? The supreme good, like the supreme good, all things, not just people, not just you, but all everything. things are like water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everything. Yeah. And it nourishes like, all, all things it, without it's, trying. Yeah, it's almost like um, discovering everything for the first time, which is something that I put. When I did that workshop with you, the one thing that I, I really noticed is after all of the things had dropped off, mm -hmm. then I was free then to discover yeah. for the first time everything. Yes, yes. That is, that is, that is this, this idea of recovering yourself, right? Like you're no longer living under the influence of all of the things that influenced you, like from birth. Yeah. 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 And, and then, was, uh, uh, yeah, go on. It was, it was quite a, a profound thing. It shut me up for two days and that takes yeah. something. <laughs> that takes kind of... <laughs> <laughs> and it, and 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 now it's like like i'm gonna just ex express something that may not be true but now it's like your life is just kind of different in a very profound but subtle way yes yeah and that's you know yes. just the way you see things and thus like you know of course you still get frustrated and angry but not in the same way i hope correct yeah yeah absolutely so <clears throat> you get frustrated and angry I can now just sit yeah. in all those corners. I can sit with it. And yeah. the response is 
phenomenally different. It oh, is. That's beautiful. It's really nice. Yeah. So uh, it continues to say, it is content with low places that people disdain. Thus, it is like the Tao. You know, and, and just even talking about what you were just saying, like, you know, when you get frustrated, you sit. And you sit in a space that is, that is humble. You sit in a space that you are being humble to your experience. And so thus, it is like in a low place. And, and most people don't want to sit in that humble space. They want to be, I have a right to be angry, and so I'm going to be angry. They don't want yeah. to sit in, and, and that's interesting because I've never, I've never seen this line from this perspective before, but that's a, like, that's a beautiful way of looking at it. Yeah. It is, it is good. Yeah. Uh, you know, I cannot, <clears throat> I can't express enough how, how things have changed. They're the same, but they've changed. Yeah. And, and, you know, like, and you've changed and that's yeah. the thing, but, but it's like now everything's changed because you are the one that's in control of how you're perceiving everything. Yeah. So then we move into this kind of like sextet of, uh, of different things in dwelling, live close to the ground, uh, in thinking, keep to the simple, right? Like it's so easy. Like the thoughts that we have are so, so simple. And yet, you know, like they're, they're direct and they get us to a point. Yeah. In conflict, be fair and generous. In governing, don't try to control. In work, do what you enjoy. In family life, be completely present. Which one of those kind of resonates with you the most this morning? Um, I would probably say, uh, just repeat them again, because I, yep. I did click something. In dwelling, live close to the ground. In thinking, keep to the simple. In conflict, be fair and generous. In governing, don't try to control. In work, do what you enjoy. In family life, be completely present. Well, wow, to be honest with you, I think, you know, it would be the in thinking, keep to the simple yeah that that's what comes out the most to me is stop worrying about how you think about things because that's <sighs> something else you know stop yes. worrying about how you think about things you, you know just keep it simple and keep it simple. that's great that really releases me yeah you know it now makes you can... things more comfortable you know, That's and I also want to say, I mean, I didn't know you before you were on Wisdom, obviously. But yeah. I want to ask, like, are do you find it easier to say what you're thinking these days? Yeah, it's, I find it easier because I don't bring every part of the baggage. I don't now worry about who is listening what they're listening to yeah i don't worry about uh other judgment i don't worry about that anymore i just say and if it goes well it goes well if it doesn't, right. it doesn't. and that is that is the real thing that is very very different now before i was very anxious and knotted and i'd, I'd want to <clears throat> I know it sounds weird because i'm always really honest and truthful with myself but I wanted it to be uh, like an uh, like wearing a, a new hat for us, say, because we like hats. Yeah. yeah. So I wanted the hat to be impressive. Yeah. With my thoughts and my words, I wanted to be uh, shining more than I think that I could when I was thinking and 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 speaking and and expressing normally. Yes. Then I came to the point where. Some will like your hat. Some won't. But just just be your own hat. Stop sticking the feathers in it. And you know, because I'm very uh when I when I try and express things, I'm very picturesque. I try and paint a picture. Yeah. And what it is, is it's like trying to dress up as something with all of the effort and all of the uh, you know, the planning and thought and everything to try and make this 
this hat like a top hat instead of a bowler, you know? Right, yeah. Just be a bowler at crikey. And it's yeah. so much easier. It's more comfortable and it's more it's more real. So when people are talking to me now, they know that they are definitely talking to my soul rather than what I'm trying to portray. Right. The train's no train's no good i can't do it it's too hard <laughs> yeah it is and and we're and we're oh. constantly stuck in that battle of yeah. like what is it i want other people to think you know i'm really excited to have the energy lady coming up after you because we're going to talk about like we always talk about that kind of stuff right like like yeah. can't make other people happy you got to do it for you and that's yeah. what and that's what we're here to do and like that's right in thinking keep to the simple keep it simple just keep it simple if you know and, and really my everybody on here says i i always kind of point out things that are you know different points of view but i'm always like i just keep it as simple as possible like and i and try that, and just like, break why. it all down yeah that's why it works because yeah. you're not trying to complicate it before it's come out right yeah i'm not trying to predict or trying to kind of and and that's it like and that's really I mean, I remember <clears throat> years ago, and I know we only have a minute left, so I'm going to read this last line. When you are content to simply be yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. That's and exactly think, it. And I think that that that's exactly. is, you know, I think that's something that, you know, I, I, I've been reading the Tao for quite some time. And that's something that I've really tried to embrace. Just simply, like, keep it simple. And if it's in your mind, it's valid. Say it. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. You thank know, you I so think. much you have always oh. uh you've always been a giver i think so there you go <laughs> today oh, is one of those days it. martin i absolutely right. love you you know this yes and i love you as well and it's been yeah, it's been like <laughs> seems like a week since we've talked so i'm really glad we got a chance to to catch up thank you so much i'll leave oh. you a lovely energy lady who's yes. just bubbling full and she's so good at it she's so good bless her i love her I'm take sure. care martin Bye. you too love <clears throat> okay we're bringing the energy lady up i'm still seeing a sleepy cat so there's a glitch there remember this is a young app hey how you doing energy lady <laughs> i'm fine will you guys put the stance on me i gotta be somebody today <laughs> oh geez what time how much time do we got <laughs> right <laughs> no okay. My cat's saying hello. Oh, well, what's your cat's name? Peanut. Peanut, I knew that. I knew that. Peanut, well, hello, Peanut. All right, you got to go. How much time do you have? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, okay. I thought you had to meet someone. No, no, you got. You guys put this precedence on me. Now I got to be that energy lady. Person. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Look, even 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 piss poor energy is energy. Like, so you bring what you have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I would not ever bring piss poor energy to this <laughs> platform. No. That's good. That's good. I, I, I got to tell you, I was listening, and your number is twenty six, right? Is that what you picked? I picked twenty eight. Twenty eight. Oh man, I was like going, no, he's talking to me. Um, and then she has eight, which really resonated. The last line really, really got me. I was like, mm. whoa. Wow, because uh, when you are content to simply be yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. Oh, absolutely. And that's that's what I'm learning inside of me. And my <laughs> my training keeps going. No, you're supposed to think and worry about people. And I'm like, yeah. I can't because it's driving yeah. me insane. You know, so, and that's an interesting thing for me as well, because um, even though I I. I really kind of cornered my life in this place of just be honest and be who you are. Um, so much, um, you know, self doubt and all that kind of came up because I don't have degrees and I don't have schooling and I don't, you know, but, but that has carried me far enough. And I've been letting go over the last, you know, six or seven years of all of that kind of like self defeating, like, you know, I, I look around now and like, I'm, I can talk circles around therapists. Like, oh, you and me both. <laughs> you know, and, and I'm not a therapist, right? Like, like I have, I have, you know, time and time again, like, like impressed people who have 
and they have not impressed me. You know, these people who with degrees and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I, you got nothing to offer me. Right. And, and the thing that I, that a society has done, and this is something I've looked at, is that, and I just say society as a whole, so there's yes. no specific, you know, title. <clears throat> yeah, I would say Western. They focus, but yeah. they focus 90% of it on the problem. You're focusing on the solution. Right. Yeah. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm, if you want to take the energetic, you want to say this ha is happening. To me, what I'm getting from you is, okay, this is happening, but look at this. Yeah. In other words, you have a total detachment to what's happening. Right. Yeah. And, I, and, and I know this, I, I stopped going to, cause you know, in my divorce, I had to go to through therapy to prove that I was a sane mother. God bless them. And so when I went to therapy, I started therapying her because she kept saying to me, so tell me about your dad. And I go, why? Right. Yeah. I said, I haven't been with my dad in how many years? Yeah. But that's going to tell me this, that, and the other. And it got to a point. No, but it got to a point where I was asking her questions about her family. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And um, I wasn't paying for it. So it was a lot more fun. But the last one I went to, I was driving and I was going to park and somebody hit me and I went, all right, I got it. I ain't coming back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, I had a, I had a therapist who was a bad therapist, really bad. Uh, because I was, you know, I was on public aid and stuff and I went to this therapist just because I needed a place to, and when I met him, I was just like, look, this is, this is cute that you're my therapist and stuff, but you're just going to have to sit there and listen to me while I sort my shit out. Like, oh, you, that's awesome. Like you are, you have very little to offer me. And I was just very, I mean, I didn't say that specifically, but I was like, he was like in the first one, he was like, well, it sounds like you're depressed. And I was just like, look, it's really cute that you think like that, that, you, that, that you're doing this, but, but just really just, just sit there. Just, we don't, we don't, if, if, if you need to diagnose me as depressed, like you go ahead and do that for you. But, but, but please just, just sit. Yeah. Yeah. But you're, you're like, but I'm just living a life. Yeah. I'm just living a life. Right. It's, you know, and, life and happens. Good. Like, no, I'm life happens. <laughs> right. And you know what? And once I got into, once I met this one person and she started showing me, she's like, okay, why don't you do this? And I do it. And then she goes, all right, you know, read it to me. Let's talk about it. You know, the be best therapy in the world. And so when I started learning what it was in my life that I didn't understand, mm -hmm. it made sense. Instead of worrying about my dad and my mom and my sisters and my, you know, ex and blah, blah, blah. And it all correlated to the point where I saw a picture I never, ever would have thought I'd see. Right. I didn't even know it existed. I thought that I was the one who was screwed up. And, and I have found through the many years that I wasn't. Um, yeah, no. And the thing is, it's like, you, you never could be. Right. But I, and, and at the same time, we unless, all know unless, un unless you decide to be screwed up, which you did yeah, for a time. But I, uh, <laughs> I did because I, I believe that they knew more because they had more money. They had more yeah. prestige. They looked yeah. better. They looked no pretty. No frame of yeah. reference. Not having None. a frame of reference no. is the worst thing. We're born with no frame of reference. And so we grow right. up putting all of this bullshit together. Let you me know, get a number before we get too far down the, the rabbit hole. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say something, but it's 35. But I'm going to tell you, it starts in utero. It yes. starts in utero. Well, yeah, and, no, I, I agree with that. And, and people don't that. understand that because they say, well, my mom, my dad. And I'm like, yeah, but who did your mom and dad associate with? What grocery store yeah. did they go to? What was all? And that really trips people out. That you really know, does. and I, I say it started in your grandmother because every woman is born with all of their eggs. So you were in the womb of your mom while she was in the womb of your grandmother. And so that's where it starts. Right. And what, what that did for me, and I'm going to go, like I said, 35 is what that you. did. Yeah. What that did for me, for me was it wasn't my mom's fault. Nope. Nope. And nope, no, and that took away all of the, whoa. Yep. And yeah, cause I'm a no blame shaming girl. There is you know. no fault at all. No, 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 no. blame shaming guilt, girl. No. Uh -uh. If, you, if, you, if, you, if you're on your victim mountain, like that's, you built it. Yeah. I had somebody try to be on their victim mountain talking to me yesterday. You missed me by a minute, by the way. Oh. Um, I saw you jump on, um, with somebody else. And I went, he just got back on. Oh. Um, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, the victim came out and I wouldn't allow it. So it, 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 it they jumped down. They went, good. no. No, there's good. no blame, shame, and guilt. I think yeah, that no. everything's off. Awesome. If you want, like, like, good on you if you want to do that. That's fine. Yeah, absolutely. But, absolutely. But, but know what it is and don't expect anyone to come with you. No, but enough people do come with you. So on yeah, that no. note, let's talk about 35. So my yes. system can stop believing the lies that are yes. trying to believe.
She who is centered in the Tao can go where she wishes without danger. <laughs> okay, we're done. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> she perceives the universal harmony even amid great pain because she has found peace in her heart. <laughs> Music or the smell of good cooking may make people stop and enjoy, but words that point to the Tao seem monotonous and without flavor. When you look for it, there is nothing to see. When you listen for it, there is nothing to hear. When you use it, it is inexhaustible. You know, I love that you and I can spend seven minutes talking about what we're about to talk about, and then we read it, and we're like, yeah, that's what okay, we just said. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. People always look at me, and they go, how did you know that? Uh, I just did, because that's what the Tao is. Hello? Yeah, right? Like, we're, we're in the middle of a conversation, and you say, yes, 35. Of course, 35. Why? Because she who is centered in the Tao can go where she wishes. And what were we talking about? <laughs> Believing that we couldn't. Couldn't go where we were. Always thinking that there's danger out there. Always thinking that there's, that there's something that will befall us. But no. No, no, no. No, there's we no way. We perceive the universal harmony, even amid great pain. And that's like your victim guy yesterday. Here you are on your victim mountain and you want to take your little victim river down the road and everything. And all I want to do is, and yes, there is great pain within our lives. This isn't to say that we are always happy, but we understand that there is harmony in all things. Yeah. And you know, what was shown to me is something that somebody had told me about how I speak. And this was in the past and I didn't see it until I heard it. And, and it was just, it, it, we don't know what we don't know. That's just the bottom line. And so when we get pushed to go further because nobody's listening, um, when when I tell people I don't know, they get mad at me. And I'm like, yeah. who are you? Yeah. I'm like, I, I'm telling you I don't know. How yeah. many people say that? But I think the biggest difference is I'm just not a sheep. That's right. Well, and, you know, like that. No, that, I'm, not, that, I'm not that person who follows. Why? Because... I'm a little bit stubborn, so it allows me to be safe. And why? Because I was a victim for so long. Right. And I think a lot of, you know, and this is, and, and my only kind of like caveat to that, that statement mm -hmm. is that, yes, there are people who are sheep, but that is because they have no frame of reference. Oh, no, no. I'm just talking about me. They want me to, I was. They I'm want you to fall in right. line because right. they don't have a frame of reference. And they were told this is what it's like out in the world. Right. And I got that. I got to talk to Dio yesterday. She actually came up. She was the first person to Whoa, talk. Oh, that's nice. I haven't seen I her, told her since, like week one. I told her, she goes, your name is tripping me out. Tell me about your name. <laughs> oh, no. And it was all about personal identity. And mm. one thing she said to me is, and she says she tells this to people when she gets pulled to be, you know, jump up. And she says that, she says, the story you're telling me is so positive, but it's also has so many elements to it. And there's not a lot of people who can express it the way you do. So please continue sharing. I hope you continue on. And that was that was just I told her that was just a hug. Yeah, that's definitely that was a hug. Because yeah. I don't look at my past, and I know I used to, I don't look at my past as a problem of an issue. I'm looking at my present right now. And if I look at what I'm supposed to do, which I was listening to Julie so well, um, what I'm supposed to do, I will fail. Yeah. But that's if right. I look at if I look at 35, <clears throat> I'll prosper. That's right. Because it doesn't make sense that certain things haven't come into place if it wasn't already waiting for me. That's right. And I know that because I have seen so many miracles. And But what I have been doing in the last year is listening to people I've been hanging out with and hanging with them and feeling, I, why are they still there? In my head, it's like, what am I doing? Right. And I just did that with a friend yet um, a couple days ago. And I went, I can't think like her because there's no, no. And she's justifying trying to get me on her side. And, and I no, right. you, you know, it just, it's, I love you, but right. I don't tell, I don't tell her this at all. No, but of course not. is there any more into that? Cause I want, uh, it's, you don't even understand what yeah, I got going is, on inside of me. Go for it. Yeah. This is, this is, this is where it's getting into what you're talking about. Music or the smell of good cooking may make people stop and enjoy 
but words that point to the Tao seem monotonous and without flavor. And as you're talking, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, how does this all relate? And I'm seeing that like your friend who, who mm -hmm. wants to embrace the things that feel like something, right? Mm -hmm. Like she's, mm -hmm. she's, she's like, oh, I can stop and enjoy this frustration. I can stop and enjoy this anger. I can stop and enjoy all of these negative things or all of these things that, that even if they're positive things, but they're taking her away from herself, um, but the words of the Tao point, the words that point to the Tao seem monotonous and without flavor. Like, like your friend's not going to want to follow you because what you're saying is like monotonous oh. and without flavor. Well, and, and <clears throat> she, and I don't want to use that, utilize that as like, your no, no, what flavor. I'm looking at, no, I'm looking at the whole concept. Oh, and this thing, God, it just came to me. The whole concept of, of money mm -hmm. and something you said in 28 hit me that I've never heard before. And I think that goes with this is that receiving is feminine. Yeah. Okay. Receiving has been my biggest hurdle over the years. Cause I was told I wasn't worthy of it. So, and my sisters, I was supposed to be a boy when I was born. That was the first thing <laughs> that was the imprinting. My sisters used to call me a lesbian, a dyke. Cause I wasn't having sex at 12. Um, and it just went on. It just went on and on and on. And I got to tell you, my ex-husband looked at me one day and he goes, you know what? Oh, this one, we were, we were exes. He says, you know what? I know what happened. He goes, you need to tell your son. And I go, what's that? He goes that you're a lesbian. And I started laughing. I said, what is your, what is your frame of reference? Because, you know, mm -hmm. lesbians like you. And I went, um, so do straight people. Yeah. But that's that whole, and I didn't understand it. And I knew it was mine, Martin. I knew it was mine. And yeah. what you just said is the receiving. I'm not sure how to change, you know, allow that to shift. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's, like it's it, just finding, finding that within you and loving the, that because well, that's it's, the thing. It's the feminine. It's the yeah, feminine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's still like, like we all have like this journey doesn't end as you know. And so it's just like, well, there's more to love. There is more to love. The, the love, the hate, love, the disgust, love well, all. No, no, no. What I look at is I was taught that feminine was the way you look. Right. Yeah. No, it has nothing to do with that. Right. That's something I get to learn to feel. Right. Because yes. It has nothing and then loving because, and also loving that, like loving the whole of it. Oh, no, no. I know that. I'm just yeah. saying I'm looking at my personal perspective because I like to get to the point and I know I'm going to drop in about nine seconds. Yeah. Um, it's the feminine part. It's I understand the feminine. It's not even yeah. analyzing it. I didn't even understand that. So thank right. you. Absolutely. And I want to finish this up right, right before I get uh, Catherine up. When you look for it, there is nothing to see. When you listen for it, there is nothing to hear. When you utilize it, it is inexhaustible. When you use it, it is inexhaustible. So I want you guys to, and, and especially energy lady, I want, you to, I want you to hear that. When you look for it, there is nothing to see. When you listen for it, there is nothing to hear. When you use it, it is inexhaustible. That's, that's, that's important. That's important. And I think that you, you get that. I think you get that after what we just said. So um, you have my number. So definitely reach out if you want to talk a little bit more about that. I'd be happy to. Catherine, my buddy, how you doing? You have sound effects. Uh, yes, I have. I had my phone was not on silent. <laughs> That's so cool. 23. 23. Moving right along, footloose and fancy free. That's right. We're reading number 23. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ooh, I make up songs sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Express yourself completely, then keep quiet. <gasps> Be like the forces of nature. And we've talked about this one, and, and I don't, and this is the one that I'm supposed to have the note on, because we're going to read a different translation of this. May the force um, be with you. May the force be with me. The forces of nature. The forces of nature, because this is the one that talks. Um, this is the one that says, "When it blows, it only blows." Um, and I think I want to use uh, the Winnie the Pooh version. I don't have a Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> but I have to keep bringing it up, just so that maybe other people realize that Winnie the Pooh is associated. Winnie the Pooh, the Tao. Yes, it's a very old book, the Winnie the Pooh version all right so we're going to look at 23 i'm going to jane english we're going to see we're going to see if uh 
and if mix it up. Better to see. Okay, so to talk little is natural. High winds do not last all morning. Heavy rain does not last all day. Why is this? Heaven and earth. If heaven and earth cannot make things eternal, how is it possible for man? He who follows the Tao is at one with the Tao. He who is virtuous experiences virtue. He who loses the way is lost. When you are at one with the Tao, the Tao welcomes you. When you are at one with virtue, the virtue is always there. When you are at one with loss, the loss is experienced willingly. He who does not trust enough will not be trusted. Mm. So Jane English, she, she writes this in, like, you know, like the Stephen Mitchell version, the Stephen Mitchell uh, uh, verse is really kind of clear, except for this, this section of when it blows, there is only wind. When it rains, there is only rain. When a cloud passes, the sun shines through. Um, that always kind of throws me for a loop. Really? It does. Huh. What are your thoughts? On whether it throws me for a loop or which one do I like better or what do I think? Or, or just what's, yeah, what are your thoughts on the, on the... <sighs> yeah, I think it, it, to me, it is so much about how when we get caught up in too many things, we absorb ourselves in too much thought. We absorb mm. ourselves in too much emotion. We get, you know, that brings, I always say like, that's like clouds your ability to see intuition. And I really, uh, maybe I'm a weirdo, but I'm cool with that as you well know. But mm -hmm. I feel like the Tao is another word for intuition. Yeah. And so <clears throat> when you hear this and you say, you know what, rains, you know, doesn't rain all day. It means for me, it means like there's a point when you realize I'm overthinking and it's causing me to then become overwhelmed and then overthinking too much eventually gets you nowhere. It, it has to come. You know, at some point you get worn out and <laughs> you stop thinking you get, you're like, ah, I can't think about this anymore. And to me, that kind of goes with that as well as like, you know, your emotions eventually like, oh, I can't, it wears you out. And you're like, I got to go have a nap or a good cry or sit in the back of my closet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I want to say that that is, that is eye-opening perspective for me because like, you know, when you're at one with the Tao, as we read with Julie before you came on, um, we were talking about the idea of when in thinking, keep to the simple. And so that is what comes up here like right express yourself completely i love that first line first off express yourself completely then keep quiet like that i get i get that but then as it kind of like breaks this thing down in the mitchell version be like the forces of nature when the wind blows it only blows when it rains it only rains when a cloud passes the sun shines through but but what like i like how you've expressed it in this idea of like you, know, you put too much on yourself and so allow yourself to just focus on that which is present rather than bringing other things into it right that which is present here now at this moment is allowing you to really uh, be at one with the Tao, right be at one to to express yourself completely by allowing yourself to be expressed rather than trying to like consider everything if you consider just what is, you are considering everything, which is why, you know, when I talk about like recovering yourself, it's not a selfish act. It's about everything because you are able to be here present with you and you are part of everything. Yeah. I mean, we all know that there is a point where, you know, this isn't a weird thing to say, oh, I'm totally overthinking this. Right. You know, like when the wind blows, you know, that's kind of, that's what I see. And the rain is like, you know, there's a point when you're like, the emotions become overwhelming and too much. And you're like, ah, oh, I got to get out of this for a minute. Like I, I need to talk to someone. I need to do something else. And so that's where I really feel like, cause then when the cloud clears the sunshine of the clarity, the ability to see, hear, feel, recognize, acknowledge your intuition is there. 
And I'm going to, we're reverting back to the Stephen Mitchell version here. And it says, if you open yourself to the Tao, you are at one with the Tao. And the Tao is within everything. And so just open yourself up to it. You don't have to consider it all, right? You don't, you don't have to be the one intellectualizing every little aspect of every little thing. The Tao, being at one with the Tao, because you're open to it, will consider all things. Right. And, you know, that's, I mean, I say like step one for intuition mm -hmm. is being open, but the clarification of this, I think it, this brings real clarity to it because I've been re-talking about these steps again. Uh, you know, being open, people are like, oh, I'm totally open to intuition. I'm super intuitive. You know, I'm totally open to it. But when you begin to overthink, when you begin to lean too much into emotions, you are no longer open to it because you put the clouds in the way and you can't feel the rays of the sunshine, the intuition coming through. So you're always working to be open to it. Yeah. So that open is such an important key element that that's where the energy goes of like when you're resetting yourself for intuition. I'm always checking in to see that I'm open with it even though I'm considered to be the intuitive person. Yeah, well, I mean, you are because you do that. Right. Yeah. If you open yourself to insight, and I don't know, maybe insight and intuition, like in the Tao, yeah. they, in the way we're talking about it, are all the same. Yep. You are at one with insight, and you can mm -hmm. use it completely. And I think that's the that's an interesting thing, because like you said, like Tao can, you can say Tao is intuition, but the Tao can also be like, more than that, right? It is the thing as well. Like, and so, so that's an interesting sort of thing where well, it's like, it is part. Is when you can bring whatever information from intuition. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Fruition. I know it's too many issues, but ishins, you know, yeah. the Ishin. insight is when you bring it all together with, with your knowledge and your, you know, excitement or motivation and start moving it forward that's your acting upon it you now have the insight the information to bring it all together to then act upon it yeah man this it's is a good. thing yeah if you open yourself to loss you are at one with loss and you can accept it completely mm, it's a good one isn't it yeah because you know that's letting go right let go of the fears, let go of, because loss really is so much about the woulda, shoulda, couldas, the yep. what, that's where loss is. And so when you let go of that, because that's a big, dark, heavy, kind of dewy cloud there, that, that woulda, shoulda, couldas, if, what if, what if, you let go of that, mm. then you got the sunshine rays on you. Yeah, it's happening. You know, I remember like uh, when I, in my journey of sobriety, I was, I was, I was a gambler. And, um, and I remember there was one time and I'm going to tell this weird story. So I was going to bet on a, on, on a horse. It was a three-year-old, I think. It was a, and his, his name was Briquette. And it was my horse. I was, it was, it was, it was, it was a beautiful, it had a beautiful track, right? Like, so meaning that over the last races, certain things fell into place. And I used to, I used to bet from the rear. So I never wanted a horse that got out front or that, that, that would be what's called a late runner, someone who would win the race from the middle of the field. Um, I always wanted someone who would break out, get a lot of lengths and expect everybody else to catch him. This horse is going into a, uh, a mile from a four furlong and just got Lasix. And it was just, I know this is just all have foreign, but I'm just going to go on with the story anyway. And this is how much of a gambler I was. <laughs> and, and it was like, this is, this is the perfect trip. Like, right. Like you don't get this. You don't get a horse coming out of uh, uh, count, coming out of a group of short races, going to a mile and uh, just starting Lasix, which is a drug that they give uh, horses to keep them from bleeding. Um, and uh, usually they run really fast right out of the gate and they don't know that they're running a long race. And so they run really fast and they get like, like, I knew this horse would have 12 lengths by the first turn. And so I was like, this is no, this is a no brainer. This horse is going to come in and he's going off like a 25 to one. And, um, 
and 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 I bet in a way where I would also bet him with the field. So he'd come in first, and I would bet, uh, uh, you know, first and second, and I would bet for the field everybody else to come in second. So I don't care who comes in second. I have bets for everybody. I just know he's going to win, and that would have landed me something like for the style of betting that I did. That would have landed me somewhere close to twenty five grand, and I missed the window. And he won by six lengths. And I was like, fuck. Like, and so for the next mm, four weeks, I'm chasing this 25 grand that I never got an opportunity to win because I missed the betting window. Like I was just excited and I was looking at other races and I knew I was gonna do it. And I was just watching like, and, and, and then like something happened and I missed my window and the bell went off and they took off. I was like, wait, is that briquette? What the fuck? Like, <laughs> and, oh. um, and so, so, so for the next three weeks or so, I was unable to accept the loss. Yeah. And it was in my craw for three weeks. Like I just kept, and obviously, I mean, I'm telling you about this race and this happened in like maybe the late nineties. Right. And maybe the early 2000, maybe 2001. So this is almost 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago. And I remember that whole fucking experience. And what that's if, how much. What if, what if, what if. That's right. And then it took me three weeks to lose the rest of my money and uh, realize that like I had to accept the loss. And from then on, I really haven't gambled much. But but it, uh, it, this line reminds me of that moment of just like yeah. understanding how I needed to accept loss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the last line here is open yourself to the Tao, then trust your natural responses and everything will fall into place. Step one is to be open. Step two, yeah. expect it to be there. Step three is to trust. Step four is to act upon it. Yes, everything will fall into place. And that's when synchronicity happens. The four steps. Yep. Yeah. Man. Of Express yourself completely and keep quiet. What's that? I said enacting the force. Enacting the force. Yeah, the force of the Tao, the force of your intuition, the force of nature. Force of Star Wars. The force. May the force be with you. Express yourself completely, then keep quiet. That's such a beautiful way to start all of this, right? Like, and even even though I missed that, missed that bell. Like that was me expressing myself and I should have just kept quiet and embraced the, the loss and I wouldn't have lost more. Yeah. But oh, I nice. mean, you know, that express yourself completely is, you know, sometimes you need to just go, ah, I'm overthinking this. Like what am mm -hmm. I doing? Expressing yourself completely is that recognition of where you are at that moment. You know, right. you know recognizing our, are you woulda, shoulda, coulda, what ifs? Are you, is there fear hidden in there somewhere? Is there expectation or demand of it being a specific way of perfection that you want to go a certain way? Or is there some sort of data that's driving you? Or are you in the freedom of intuition? And you know, that that is really expressing to yourself fully to know where you're at and how you can move forward and how open you are. Yeah. Absolutely. So fun. Oh, I love you. It's so nice to have you with me. Smooches. So many smooches. Um, all right. So I am Martin John, and this is the Dow of the Day. If anybody wants to come up and give me a number between 1 and 81, I would love to have you. If you're, if you're experiencing any sort of grief or any sort of thing going on in your life, if you're, if you're contemplating something, the Dow always has some sort of insight for you. Um, I am going to return to 28, which was my number for today. And I'm going to continue uh, going through it. Uh, for those of you who don't uh, weren't here earlier, I'm going to go ahead and reread the whole thing, and then we'll start where I left off. Know the male, yet keep to the female. Receive the world in your arms. If you receive the world, the Tao will never leave you, and you will be like a little child. Know the white, yet keep to the black. Be a pattern for the world, and if you are a pattern for the world, the Tao will be strong inside you, and there will be nothing you can't do. Know the personal, yet keep to the impersonal. Accept the world as it is. If you accept the world, the Tao will be luminous inside you, and you will return to your primal self. 
The world is formed from the void, like utensils formed from a block of wood. The master knows the utensils, yet keeps to the block. Thus, she can use all things. So we went through the first two sections here. Know the white, yet keep to the black. And know the male, yet keep to the female. And those were really intense. So if you didn't get a chance to uh, listen to those, check them out in the recording um, from today. Know the personal, yet keep to the impersonal. And I think this is something that I talked with... Um, who did I speak to today? I mean, I know I spoke to the energy lady and I spoke to Julie uh, and I spoke to Catherine, but Catherine and I didn't speak about this, but uh, either Julie or the energy lady, we were talking about this idea of knowing the personal yet keeping to the impersonal. The impersonal being like, I am stepping away from this. I am not so invested. I don't want to be overly invested in, uh, in what is happening here. I want it to be a little more impersonal. I don't want, I think it was Julie that we were talking about this with. I don't want to be so emotional about that which is happening in front of me uh, because um, I am, like, I can hear you and I can be here with you, but by being emotionally invested, um, I, although in the world of structure, in the masculine world, we want to show that we care, but caring like deeply is understanding that like that is felt and that is present. And so being able to be a little more impersonal means like taking that step back and, and, and able, being able to actually um, make change and, and impress upon other people how much we care about them without it having to look a certain way. So know the personal yet keep to the impersonal, accept the world as it is. So if this person is as they are and we, are able to allow them to be who they are that becomes a little less personal when we when we think we want what they want right when we think we know what's best for them we step in and we start to make changes and that's a, that's a place where that's that's disrespectful and it's not really uh, great for the relationships that we have so uh, if you accept the world, the Tao will be luminous inside you. You will return to your primal self, your primal self. Like, and I think that's what uh, Catherine and I were talking about, this idea of uh, your intuition, just being here and being present, being accepting things as they are right now without, without judgment, without fear, just being here and being present as we are. And then that is the Tao being luminous inside you. You don't have to be anything more because the Tao exists within you. And so that's good. And that's good, whatever that means. The world is formed from the void. See, this is, this is a really important, this, is, this goes back to know the male, yet keep to the female. The world is formed from the void. Okay, the world, this could be the globe, this could be the universe, right? Like, so as I was talking about back in the beginning of this, I don't know, whenever I started we talked about this idea of there is a border to the universe. That border is the masculine. And uh, it, is, it is allowing the void to, it is allowing structure within the void, right? So the, the edge of the universe allows structure to exist within the void. Outside of the universe, there is no structure and it is all void. Right? That is the ultimate female. That is the ultimate receiving. Everything that goes in it gets lost within it. It is the ultimate ability to receive. And that, it's kind of like the universe is a house. And we are in a room of that house. Right? In, like, if you're outside, I don't know if any of you have ever been homeless. I was homeless out in New York for a couple months. And, and that is a, that's a task. Not having four walls is maddening. So if you've ever lived without four walls, with if you've never had, if you ever had like literally no privacy, right? Like you were you were you know shitting in the alley and living on the street, like that is a maddening experience in your mind, right? And so that is very similar because you feel like you are just getting lost in this space that is being completely in the feminine right like you're just getting like the street just receives you and it just sucks you up and you can get lost there and and that's kind of like if we look at the universe the universe is this void if you were out in the universe and had no boundary 
had no box, had no wall, and it was just void. That is maddening. There's nothing you can do to, to there's no place to put anything. Everything is lost within it. And that is, you know, the world is formed from the void. So first we have the universe is formed from the void and then everything within the universe is placed within a boundary and that boundary being masculine, holding back that forever feminine, that forever receiving, that forever, that, that, that thing that everything will get lost within. Oh, that's, that's, that's heavy. Like utensils from a block of wood, the master knows the utensil, yet keeps to the block. Yeah, that block of wood can make anything, but you have to keep your mind on the structure. Thus, she can use all things because everything is made from the block. Everything is made from that one thing. Oh. I like to pause sometimes because that's a really important aspect of all of this, right? Like, know the male, you keep to the female. Like, yes, know that we are in a universe, but know that universe has an end and outside of that end is the forever void, is the forever receiving, is the place of complete loss. Just like we talked about, like when you can embrace loss, you're embracing that feminine. You're embracing that which receives. Yep. Like I put, I didn't put my money down. And so I didn't, because I wasn't able to receive. I was, I was holding on to, and, and not receiving has been a big issue for me over the last couple of months and being able to really challenge that re receptiveness in my life is something that I've been really focused on. So thank you, Julie, for the love. Um, yes. So that is 28. So we went through 28, 23, 8, 50, and 35 today. If anybody wants to step up and uh, give me a number, I would love to have you. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to go through a little bit of my, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through my, my increasingly long-winded like, endings. Um, I am Martin John, the host of the Recover Yourself podcast. I am currently on OWL, and I want to invite you guys to come out on OWL and, uh, and join me. If you're interested, reach out to me and I'll send you, uh, I'll send you information. It is a, an audio app where you can get and give advice uh, privately. So here on uh, Wisdom, we have the, the ability to speak and be heard by many, many people. On OWL, uh, you would just speak to one person and it would be a private conversation. Uh, and it's a place people can find you and you can find people uh, like myself. And, uh, you know, I think uh, there are a couple other people. Um, Deborah, Barsha is on that app as well. And, uh, and yeah, so would love to uh, help you guys get connected there if you're interested. Um, I also have a workshop one week from today at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And if you're interested in checking that out, definitely reach out to me. That is in conjunction with the Sober app, which will be launching in a day or two. So if you're sober and looking for kind of like the yellow pages of sobriety, you're going to want to check out the Sober app. Um, I, again, Martin John, Recover Yourself podcast. Haven't done an episode in a while. Might not ever again, but I may. So who knows? Um, I just uh, take it one step at a time. Uh, right now I'm working on a book that I wrote and hasn't, haven't been published yet. And we're going to be uh, trying to get that off and running shortly um, as whatever it will be. So until next time, thank you all for everything that you do and keep recovering yourself.